If you died today, what ideas, what dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts will die with you? Last August, I was told that in all likelihood, I had three to six months left to live. So, I think the only advice I can give you on how to live your life well is first off, remember, it is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Hey, I don't care who you are, what race, what age, what gender. I don't care about any of that stuff. But what I do know is that you have a dream inside of you. In that dream you have kept hidden from the world. You've made excuses for it. You've delayed it. You've listened to people telling you to be realistic. But deep down in your heart, you know that you're not living to your potential. Where is the wealthiest place in the world? Do you know? It's not China. It's not Dubai. It's the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, you will find inventions never invented, businesses never erected, songs never sung, books never written, ideas never nurtured, people never realized, because they were scared to take a risk, scared like you. A lot of people die full, full of their dreams, full of talent, full of ideas full of skills, full of intelligence and abilities that they never reached for, they never tapped, they never got into, they never used it, never used it. But you want to know something else? You're not in a graveyard yet. And every, we get one life, right? And every passing moment, we will never get back again. See, this present moment is so precious. We have to be here. We have to be in it and make the most of it. We have to live our dreams now because they are possible.